Every who down and who build like the Christmas a lot. But the Grinch who lived just the north of who build did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on quite right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hailing the hooves, staring down from his cave with a sour green frown at the one lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every who down in who blew beneath was busy now, hanging on uh, hanging on mistletoe with, and they hang their stockings. He snarled, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically not here. Then he growled it with his green finger nervously drumming. I must find a way for tomorrow. Then the hoos, young and old, would, would sit down to a feast, and they the feast, and they the feast, and they the feast, 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 feast. They would feast on who pudding and rare who roast the beast, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the list. And then they could do something he liked the least of all. Every who, down in who build, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the who's would start singing. They'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the green thought of the who's Christmas sing, the more the green thought I must stop this whole thing. Why for 53 years I've put up with it now? I must stop this Christmas from coming, but how? Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I knew just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat. And he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and cloaked. What a great Grinch trick. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. Saint Nick. All I need is reindeer. The Grinch looked around. But since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did they stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said. If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max. Then he took some red thread and he tied a big cone on top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshack sleigh, and he hitched it up old Max. Then the Grinch said, jit up, and the sleigh started down, told the homes where the hoose lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air, all the hoos were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. Where, when he came to the first little house in, a, in the square. This is stop number one. The old Grinch closed his seat. And he climbed to the roof, empty bags in fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. 
He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of out of the fireplace flue, where the little who stocking all hung in a row. His stocking, he screamed, are the first thing to go. Then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present, popcorns and bicycle, roller skate, drums, checkerboard, tri tricycles, popcorns, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. Then the grunt very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he slung to the ice box. He took the hoose beast. He took the hoop pudding. He took the lost beast. He cleaned it out that ice box as quick as a flash. Why? That Grinch even took their last can of who hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, green did the Grinch, I will stop up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed it the tree, and he started to shove. When he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove, he turned around fast, and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so sleek. He thought up a lie and he thought up, up quick. Why, my sweet little thought, the fake Santa Claus ride. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then I'll be back here. And his feet folded the child, then he patted her head. And he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And while Cindy went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was the long for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their words, he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of wood that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other whose houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. It was Carter Fest. Thank you. It was Carter Fest done. All the hoods stare up bed. All the hoods stare on snows. Well, he pick pick up his sled, packed it up with their present, the ribbons and the wrappings, the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. Three sounds fit up of the side of mountain crumpet. So he rode with his road to the tip top to dump it, to pull down to the hoods. He was crunchy as right humming. They are finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They are just working out. I know just what, what they are do. Their mouths were hung often a minute or two. Then the who's done in who bear will or cry boo boo. That's a noise. Green the gritty. That is simple must hear. So he paused. And the gritty put a hand to hear her, her ear. And the did her a sound rising out over the snow. It started in low. Then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why this sound sounded merry? It couldn't be so, but it was merry berry. He, start, he started down at who will. The gritty popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every who done in who will, the poor and the small, was singing without any present at all. He hadn't stopped yet Christmas for coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. 
and the creatures with his greatest feet eyes could curled in the snow, still the puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without weapons, it came without tags, it came without packets, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till he his puzzles were sore. Then the greatest thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't came for the store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. And what happens then? Will in who been they say that a greatest small heart grew three sides that day? And the minute he heart didn't feel cried, so fight he wasn't with his wool through the bright morning white. And he brought back the toy and the food for the fest. And he he himself, the great carpet does roast the best.